Hey there everyone, Doug here with BNH. This here is the Move 4K PTZ camera from PTZ Optics. PTZ cameras have really made strides in resolution, networking capabilities, and even size in the last few years, and PTZ Optics really makes that clear with the Move 4K. What's special about the Move 4K is its ability to track a subject and pan, tilt, and zoom with them, of course, as they move around. That sounds about right. If you haven't used PTZ cameras before, the Move 4K could be a perfect start and one of the best ways to take advantage of PTZ cameras in general. But even if you've already got a PTZ setup, features such as the 4K resolution, SDI output, NDI HX support, and multiple IP and serial control mechanisms make it a powerful option for the experienced user as well. Oh, and did I mention it's got a 20 times zoom lens? Let's take a closer look. So it's literally in the name with the Move 4K. It can move to follow you, and it shoots UHD 4K resolution up to 60 FPS. Now that alone is impressive at this price point, but another key feature here is the inclusion of NDI HX connectivity, meaning you won't need a separate license to enable the feature. NDI HX and the Move 4K's HDMI connection are the only two ways to get 4K video output from the device, so seeing all of these features here is a welcome surprise. As a PTZ camera, it's already versatile by nature. You don't need a camera operator, at least in front of it, for these things, but perhaps even better, you don't even need to use the included remote to control it. You can use anything from a serial PTZ controller or a wide range of IP controls, such as a web interface or IP joysticks. Now, the 20x zoom lens on the Move 4K covers a generous ground, reaching an equivalent focal range of 6.2 millimeters to 125 millimeters. So you can cover huge indoor spaces, such as auditoriums or houses of worship, but you can also get up close and personal for podium speakers, performers, or anything in between. Really what makes the Move 4K special, though, is its ability to track subjects and keep them in frame automatically. This is ideal for users who either don't have an operator at all, or are using the Move 4K to capture themselves and aren't able to control it at the same time. But there's only one way to find out how this all performs. So let's plug it in and find out. So first off, we powered the Move 4K exclusively through a power over ethernet connection, and it was painless. I literally plugged in the unit and it immediately powered on and was assigned an IP address on the network. But before I tried anything on the computer side of things, I just wanted to test out the performance of the camera itself. Right out of the gate, the image quality was honestly surprisingly clean and sharp. Even in low light, the Move 4K produces a relatively clean image that is sure to help out in poorly lit boardrooms, for example, or environments that are simply out of your control. One of the Move's highlight features is its subject tracking. You simply turn it on on the remote and the camera resets, waiting for a subject to enter the frame. It will then follow them almost instantly. Getting back to the remote for a second, it's simple to use and easily lays out everything you need. Video overlays on all outputs will show you things as you engage them. So for example, when you turn tracking on, it will show you which camera IP address it's hitting and what's been enabled. There isn't any kind of pressure sensitivity here on the remote, but there are two zoom rockers, one for slow and one for fast zooming. So you have at least some flexibility there. Oh, and it is IR based, so you will have to carefully aim the remote at the unit when it's in use. There are a few other ways to control the Move 4K, including serial control with an included cable if you have a joystick controller. There's IP control via a web browser, which is super easy to use. Type the camera IP address into your browser and you have control over the Move 4K settings. And you can operate it pretty much like you would through the remote. Now this actually takes me to the NDI HX capabilities. NDI, for those unaware, is a way to provide high quality, low latency video over IP meaning you can create entire multi-camera productions without the need for separate video cable runs like HDMI or BNC. You can network, power, and provide video signal all through one single ethernet cable, which is exactly what we did here. Then you can access the Move 4K through an NDI viewer. One thing that's important to note here is that NDI HX compatibility is included with the Move 4K. You don't have to buy any additional license to activate it. That's pretty cool. When using NDI, you can route the signal to something like OBS for multi-camera streaming, and then control and switch it through the NDI software. This gives you an incredible level of control with a beautifully simple setup. I kid you not, I only had to set up the router 
once and everything else automatically signed itself through the switch. Now, if you don't wanna use NDI or you just wanna get a quick check on your video without any need for controls, you can also access an RTSP feed straight off the camera by opening a player like VLC and typing in the IP address and port of the camera. You'll instantly get a live stream preview of the Move 4K, no other configuration necessary. All in all, the Move 4K is by far one of the easiest PTZ cameras I've used in regards to network connectivity, image quality, and remote control. So the Move 4K is smaller than you might expect, but by their very nature, PTZ cameras must house the electronics and motors necessary to move the camera around. So this unit keeps things pretty compact, all things considered. You're looking at dimensions of roughly 6.6 by 6.5 by 5.6 inches, which almost gives it a cube-like form factor, and it doesn't weigh that much either, coming in at only 3.24 pounds or 1.47 kilograms. The lens takes the center stage on the front side with little else aside from some indicator LEDs. On the model we have here, it's a gray finish, though the Move 4K is also available in white. But if we move to the back side, you'll see how much PTZ Optics fits in here. Starting from the right side, we have the HDMI 2.0 connection, RS-232 DIN connections, RS-485 Phoenix connector, 3G SDI port, USB 2.0, Ethernet connector, DC 12 volt barrel connector, and two 3.5 millimeter line in and line out jacks. You'll also notice a system format selection override switch, which can be used to force the Move 4K to output a particular video format regardless of what you select in the menus. Just a few notes though before we wrap it up, the HDMI 2.0 and the NDI HX connections are the only way to get 4K video, while the 3G SDI maxes out at 1080p. The Ethernet port really serves a few functions. On top of the touted NDI functionality, it's also used for IP control, RTMP slash RTSP streaming, and PoE plus power support. The USB port, being only a 2.0 port, is used more for servicing along with camera control, though it can be used as a UVC webcam as well if you aren't able to get video via the other connections. So, if you need to pan, tilt, and zoom your way to success, the PTZ Optics Move 4K has you covered. While PTZ cameras excel in situations without a camera operator, the Move 4K takes it to another level with advanced tracking capabilities on top of a multitude of remote control options. So how can you use the Move 4K in your next production? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for the PTZ Optics Move 4K. I'm Doug with BNH, and I'll see you next time.